Bianca and Chosen got their ass kicked out of boot camp. Are we surprised? <laughs> favorite auntie momo and we are back for the season finale review of marriage boot camp y'all this was my favorite season so far i enjoyed uh damn near every episode i just fell in love with ajua and shiny thank you styles p and c lo for sharing them with the world because they are now my new big sisters and i just love them y'all um this last episode was good bianca and chose has got there how you get kicked the hell off of boot camp child that's just too doggone much for me. But look here, I don't want to make this review long at all. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it, y'all. First off, disclaimer. I know my shirt said God is dope. Hopefully, everybody had a good Easter. He has risen. Hallelujah and all that. But look here, God knows my heart. So, yes, I am sipping on a little Moscato. God knows my heart, though. I don't need nobody up in here judging me. Look here, though. Y'all like my lip gloss? It's my chocolate, girl, y'all. What I did, though, I put a little bit of lip liner around it. Y'all know I love me some nice Milani lip liner. So I just did a little cabaret lip liner with my chocolate, girl, lip gloss. Y'all, this lip gloss is so cute. I really do like this. And I ain't just saying it just because she gave it to me, neither. I'm just saying, this lip gloss is cute. I really do love it. Shout out to you, chocolate, girl, because I've been wearing this lip gloss damn near every day. I really do like it. And I decided to put a little something on my lips today. You know what I'm saying? But look here, y'all. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but y'all, let's go ahead and get right on up into this review. Because I'm ready for it. So let me give it to you. <laughs> Shit. All right, y'all. It's the morning after the little boys' night out, girls' night out. As y'all know, the boys had them a little good old time. They was all up in the VIP. Showing out and all that. Had little groupies and all that around them. Y'all already know. Girls, we wasn't feeling it. We was ready to go. Our feet was hurting. Our back was aching. The bra was too tight. Our, our weed was itching. They was just ready to go. So this is the next morning. Y'all know all the women stayed in. I believe it was Styles and Ajara's room. All the men stayed in Ballistic and Johnson's room. Had like a little cute little slumber party. It was real cute or whatever, right? So, everybody's waking up. All the men are in one room talking about the whole lie detector results as well are the women. Now, we already know Dr. Ish and Judge Toller. It's four of you mofos that done lied. Which four of you mofos it was that done lied, we don't know. Y'all, my nail is distracting me. I need these nails done. I'm going to need. Y'all, I've been seeing these memes. And I swear these memes is me. Y'all don't know how bad I want to go pick, pick your color up. I want to make you color. You get nail and eyebrow too. That's how I need it, y'all. Look at my neck. Look at my roof. Look at my roof. Oh, I just need these dogs. <laughs> you pick you color. You do, I do think for you too today and, and eyebrow. Y'all don't know how bad I need that. I had to go ahead and give them a little thing and get this because I started to see a little goddamn Teen Wolf thing coming up in here. I was like, oh, shit. And then I had to edge this up a little bit. And I was like, oh, Lord. I'm sorry. I was talking about marriage boot camp, but my nail distracted me. But like I was saying, it's four of them. That's even worse. It's four of them. Four of them, doggone it, that done lied. We don't know which of the four more foes that done lied, but we pretty much know one was already ballistic because we know ballistic didn't want to marry that damn girl. We know that. And then plus him and Johnson got into it the day before, so he already knew. They just got into an argument and then go right into taking a goddamn lie detective. Emotions is all messed up. Everything ain't finna be a doggone lie. So ballistic said, I know for a fact. My shit is negative. It's wrong. It lied. And shit was off the Richter. I already know for a fact our dog on lie. So, um, it is what it is. Bianca is nervous as hell about the results to her question as well. Now, she knows, like, well, like she said, she is for certain in her heart of hearts that she wasn't pregnant by nobody else in 2019 or whatever. But she's still super nervous about the results. What you nervous for? Like, she said she about to shit on herself. 
Like for what, girl? If you know you didn't do nothing wrong, you know your results is going to come out that you was telling the truth. What you worried about it for? Girl, I'll be sitting back eating me some doggone Legos or some tacos or something. I wouldn't be worried about it, especially if I knew I ain't did nothing wrong. Oh, no. You ain't finna get me with Oak, though. So, y'all, we finally get the results of everything, right? First up, we have CeeLo and Shawnee. Of course, we already know they both telling the truth. Next up was Ballistic and Jocelyn. Jocelyn was telling the truth. Ballistic was lying. He said it. Wayne surprise. <laughs> Next up was uh, Michelle and Stu Child. Both they asses damn lied. He lied about being in love with her. She lied about being attracted to them. So what the hell is y'all doing together? Why is we wasting everybody's time? This is everybody goddamn wasting time. I just got on my damn nerves. Next up was Styles P and um, Ajua. Now, Ajua was telling the truth that she did not blame him for the death of their daughter. But when it came to her getting the results to his lie detector, Judge Chola gave it to her in the envelope and was like, look here. It's up to you whether or not you want to get these results, whether or not your answer is going to change. If you get the answer to these results or not, it's all on you. Same with Chosis and Bianca. Chosis was telling the girl, the lie detector a man asked Cho Chosis, are you emotionally involved with another woman aside from Bianca? This nigga said yes. And he wasn't telling the He was not lying. No deception was indicated. So he truthfully is involved emotionally with another woman. When it came to him getting Bianca's results, same thing, they gave him the results in an envelope for him to open up later on if that's what he so chooses to do. Now, we already know. Bianca, of course, she was pissed to find out the um, results to what he said, which you already knew. Why are you mad about it? But then, when it came to her getting the results that she said to him, like I said, he kind of wanted to be petty with it. He didn't want to open it up. Now, one of them was a lie, because we already seen Stu, Michelle, and Ballistic was lying. Out of Styles P and Bianca, one of their asses was doggone lying too, right? I was like, I bet I know who lying. So like we all knew, Bianca ass is pissed off. She immediately starts going for this nigga pocket, trying to get the doggone envelope out of his pocket so she can read and see what the results are. Child, they get into an argument. She ripping this fool, trying to get in his pocket, broke his bracelet. They start arguing. She smacks him in the head. He balls up his fist, gets up in her face like they finna bare knuckle bra. Like, she was just too much. She got on my damn nerves. Like how he dealt with her this long, how she got outbursts like that. No, that's why I say, women, you need to keep your damn hands to yourself. I don't feel like no woman needs to be smacking and going up against no nigga's head like that. Cause the minute he hauls off and he knocks the black off your ass, then you gonna be looking at him like he's a woman abuser and he should have walked away this, that, and the other. That's what he was trying to do. But she kept on provoking his ass. Now, again, I don't condone no man hitting no woman, but I don't condone no woman putting her hands on no man neither. That's what I'm saying. Cause he haul off and he give you what you want. I'm just saying it is what it is. So, child, Michelle and Stu actually ended up seeing the paper. Stu read it. Tom, come to find out, Bianca was not lying. She was not pregnant by nobody else. Chose has actually seen it. He knows that she was not lying. But he's pissed off because of the way that she's acting about it. Her whole reaction to it. She's digging at the bit, going, trying to go in his pocket. He was just done. He was fed up with the child security. Had to come in because she's trying to go off and haul and attack this nigga. Dr. Ish had to come and break that ass up. Dr. Ish had to get Chosis. Damn Judge Tola had to get Bianca. Cha, Chosis and Bianca both saying to the judges or whatever that they tired and, and they, there's no other conversations to be had. It's over and done with. Whoop de whoop, yada, yada, yada. Dr. Ish goes and tell them, look here. We love y'all and everything, but your time is up. You niggas ain't got to go, but you got to get the hell on up out of here. We trying to make this work for the niggas that's trying to make work for themselves. Y'all up here playing too many goddamn games and you still in the same place that you was when you first goddamn got here 10 days ago. Anybody got time for this shit? We trying to move ahead. We got another show to goddamn film in a little bit. We ain't got time for y'all asking me in the same goddamn predicament. Of course, Bianca's upset. I can't believe we got kicked out of boot camp. Oh my God. Chosis is claiming that he didn't say he didn't love her. He just said he in love with another bitch.
I mean, okay, that is what he said. He didn't, I didn't say I didn't love you. I just said I love somebody else. But I love you too. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ajawa ended up opening up her envelope. But she already figured out, okay, so we know Bianca's telling the truth. Then you was the one that was lying. Which Styles' question was, did he have emotional connections with the woman that he cheated with? From my understanding, that was 10 years ago. Girl, look here. Ben, get over it. Get it all like I, I feel her though. As long as you ain't have no communicado with the heifer now, then we good. We good. Just know I can break your neck or I can poison your skeddies at any time. Play with me if you want. Play with me if you want to. So y'all, when it came down to the ring ceremony, Shawnee and CeeLo did end up giving each other a ring. Styles P and Ajua. Styles P gave her her ring. Ajua tricked him like she didn't have it. Child, she had it around her neck. It was cute, though. I like Styles P and Ajua. They are like my new favorite couple. I love them so much. I love their love. They just goddamn cute. I really do come for them. Child, Michelle and Stu. I thought it was going to be a double no. Stu ended up giving Michelle a ring because he said he loves her. He's willing to try. He's willing to ride it out. She opened up her box. She didn't have no ring in there at first. But it's like when she seen his ring, then she changed her mind. And was like, but I changed my mind, Dr. Rich. I changed my mind. And they decided to stay together. I was like, CeeLo, what? Y'all who? The whole thing was just really weird. It was really weird. But she seemed genuinely happy. He seemed genuinely happy. They shared an awkward ass kiss at the end that was so nasty. They could have just kept that shit. I was just like, ooh, ooh, that was gross. That was real nasty. Um, Ballistic ended up proposing to the Puerto Rican princess. And it was cute. I had a feeling he was going to end up proposing to her too. Just because I was like, nah, nigga, you got to make up for the fact that you lied about wanting to marry this girl in the first place. So I don't know if him proposing to her was just an, an, an installment plan or exactly what it was, but you know what I'm saying? He proposed to the Puerto Rican princess. She said the wedding is supposed to be December 25th, 2020. We gonna be on the lookout for that girl. Hopefully you ain't gotta do the goddamn shit on Zoom or Skype your goddamn wedding or some shit. This goddamn child. This shit real out here. But look here, y'all. That was the end of the episode right there. Let me make sure that was the end of the episode because I didn't even see the rest of my no shot. I just went with it. Yeah, that was it. Look here, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this season review of Marriage Boot Camp. Y'all already know if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.